Hey guys, Marlo back again, or as you know me on YouTube, it's MRA. And this time I thought I'd do a quick comparison review on my brand new Hot Toys 1-6 scale Elder Predator from Predator 2 with the original release by Hot Toys, again the Elder Predator from Predator 2. And right off the bat, you can see there is a difference in the height. They're both standing flat on the table, on display stands. But you can see with the original release, Predator 2, Elder Predator, <clears throat> on the left side, he does stand a little bit taller. And I must say, I think I still prefer the old original head sculpt. The paint job isn't as good as the new version with the new technology and everything but uh, overall I love how his uh, forehead or you know the crown of his head is a lot bigger than what you see on the new version which seems really small in comparison and even though the eyes are a lot better on the new version more movie accurate Compared to the old one, you see they're a little bit more human looking. Overall, especially from a distance, the old version just looks a lot meaner to me. It just looks wicked, you know? So, I don't know, if you're into modifications and stuff, I suppose you can repaint the eyes. Get them a little bit more movie accurate. Again, they look a little too human there with the whites of the eyes and the pupils. Compared to the new version there which are just darker and more beady and alien looking. <clears throat> so those are some of the comparisons there. Give you a good look at the details in the new one. Just the, the textures. There's better sculpts in, term, in terms of the quills. That's kind of cool on the new one and the spotting and stuff like that. The old one doesn't have quills, unfortunately. Um, and again, the paint job is a little less uh, realistic. It's kind of sparse in terms of the uh, spotting and different tones. But with the right paint job, you can look really cool. The dreads on both are really nice. They're both nice and long and have that greenish blue tint to them with the beads and you can see on the, the old version I guess <clears throat> the skulls seem a lot bigger compared to the uh, newer version a little bit smaller stand out a little bit less and uh, there's this big human skull here on the side of the belt uh, which is still present in the new version but it seems like it's more on the side of the uh, the sword, uh, what do you call this, the sheath here. The old one doesn't have a sh sword sheath, but uh, yeah, if you're missing that skull, it's still there. So they both still have that. And you can see the spotting on the legs here. Again, a little bit more cartoony, a lot more obvious compared to the new version, which has a more realistic look. It's, you know, blended into the skin a little better and, you know, has its certain fades and whatnot. <clears throat> the new version also has a little bit more texture. If you look at the skin, you can see the uh, wrinkles and, and scales and whatnot. The old one, it's a little bit on the smoother side. Again, if you're into customizing and repainting, you could kind of remedy that, you know, and do some paint blending to make them look a lot better. You can see the uh, size of the uh, the shin uh, guards there. On the new one, they're a lot uh, higher. They go up to the knees. Whereas the old one, they just kind of fall short of the knees and then they're basically like separate, uh, what do you call them, knee pads there. Whereas with the uh, new one, they look like they're pretty much more one piece with the, uh, the shin guards. The newer one here has bigger feet. 
That's what I'm noticing offhand compared to the older one. They're a lot smaller looking. And of course, you know, differences in paint job as well. So it's kind of funny. The shorter, newer version has bigger feet compared to the older, taller one. Which you would think would have bigger feet, but they're smaller. So let me give you some other comparisons, a side view real quick. You can see the uh, shape of the head there. I like that a lot better. It's just a lot more intimidating, more alien, you know, a lot bigger compared to the uh, newer version. I don't know which is more accurate, but, you know, personally I prefer the older version. So I'm going to keep the older version. I mean, I really love the look of the Elder Predator. And uh, the old one still has some very nice looking points to it that I still enjoy. But the uh, newer version is also great. So I think they're both neat to keep in the collection. Let me uh, turn these guys around and give you a view of the back. You can see some differences right away in the color of the leather around the waist, the loincloth. In the newer version, the uh, dreads are a little bit lighter looking too. But they're pretty much, you know, still that kind of greenish, bluish tone. They're not like the standard black like on the other Predators. Another quick turnaround, give you the other side. <laughs> I like the straps that are on the old one. I don't know why there's none on the newer one. I don't know if it came with some extra straps, but I guess that can be remedied. I could throw some on there. I don't know what's more movie accurate again, having the straps or no straps, but uh, I'll have to look into that. And uh, I don't think the old one came with uh, blades like on the newer one, but there is a little bit of a space there, as you can see. So it looks like you can insert some in there with no problem. So if you have any extra blades, I guess you can still insert some in there. So again, just giving you guys a good look. Let me turn them around one more time to get the front view once again. And real quick, if you're interested in comparing the accessories, let's see, oops, took his whole hand off there. Let me compare the uh, two different blades. Oops, hard to do this with one hand, guys. Sorry about that. But you have the new version here. It comes with a little bit of bone hanging from the uh, hilt there, and the new ver—I mean, the old version. So old version, new version. Not too different. Just a little bit of a uh, color differences and that little bit of detail there. And let's check out the uh, musket real quick. That should be interesting. Whoops. Darn. Ah, can't get it out of his hand. He's holding it tight. Okay. Oops, I'm always dropping something in my videos, right guys? Okay, let me see if I can do this a little bit better. Wow, they really have a good grip. Uh, need two hands. Okay, let me try. There we go. Got it out. So, okay. So, this is the old version and the new version. Let's get some more lighting on there. I guess the old version was a little more silver there where the name was engraved. And the newer version is a little bit more gold. So again, the old version and the newer version. So again, not too different. They're about the same size. 
probably use the same sculpt looking at it right now to tell you the truth just different paint jobs so old one new one and uh, that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed sorry I dropped the other figure there uh, <laughs> it's hard to do this stuff with one hand but uh, anyways hopefully you found this video helpful useful interesting anyways keep on collecting guys thumbs up to my videos please subscribe if you haven't already and keep on collecting guys bye bye